Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. In this video, we are going to have a look on this device. So this is a Sony Xperia Cedar, which released back in 2010. And surprisingly, this device is amazing. So I have been using this device for a few days. And although I have been using Sony devices for a very long time, but I haven't used any kind of Sony devices which has a keypad or which has like dumb phone form factor, I haven't used. But I have used many Nokia devices which are running on Symbian or Java. And I have a lot of Nokia devices. Still, I have maybe more than 100 devices which are running on Nokia S40 or S60 platform. So today we are going to have a look on this device. So if you're going with the spec this device is actually really light and we have a 2.2 inch display 240 by 320 it's very similar to nokia displays and it's plenty sharp i will show you that and if you go with in front we have keypad here and surprisingly this keypad is amazing although i always praise about blackberry keypad but you should try this kind of keypad it's amazing although it's not like a plastic type of keypad it's a rubber keypad but it's feel very solid and it's really amazing i have i haven't type even i haven't pressed even one mistype on this device it's amazing and we also have few buttons here extra buttons uh, we have a um, similar to nokia 60 devices for minimizing apps or to to check the running apps and also a c button to clear a uh, character or if you want to delete something so these two buttons uh, maybe it's running on symbian OS. i don't really know it's running on symbian or java but usually java devices doesn't um, minimize the app but there are some Samsung devices i have used which can minimize apps although they are running on uh, java platform i'm not really sure about that thing but i think this is running on java platform and if we go like left side we have a micro usb port which you can data transfer or you can uh, charge the device and we have a 3.5 mm jack surprisingly really good and we have uh, buttons for volume up and down and in the back we have our 2 megapixel camera which is surprisingly good for 2 megapixel camera released back in 2010 and also we have our speaker grill here there is issue with the speaker i will tell you that too so let's go turn this device on first and as i said i've been using this device for two three days now and my main sim card is here i just taking phone calls and making phone calls with this device and surprisingly the voice uh, like phone call quality was amazing although i don't make any kind of like texting from this device it's not going to text anything but texting is still can be done and the keypad is amazing as i said so as you can see here it's turning on now it takes a little bit uh, more time than nokia devices to turn on about maybe 15 to 20 seconds which is really long but sony and uh, nokia devices can turn on very, very fast so as you can see the device is turning on now and and it's turned on so as you can see here yeah, the display you can see and the menu and if i press this button the menu button you can see the, all the menu and other things so we have menu here <clears throat> so the typical menu and it looks really nice actually the animation here is actually amazing it's better than nokia s40 devices as you can see here all the animations and everything and it's quite fast actually so specification it has actually uh, like bluetooth maybe 2.2 also it has uh, 2g and 3g support unfortunately there is no wi-fi support on this device and there is one thing about beautiful about this device is it has a really good display uh, and i really like this display actually 2.2 inch it's amazing and it's sharp enough for this kind of device and if i go with the menu and other things so first of all we have play now so play now if you if you um open play now it will open the browser and you can go similar to the browser internet so similar thing going on here and if you go to entertainment there are few things you can go like ai service radio track id location service maybe it has gps um, i don't really know we have game section here we'll come to game section later on and record sound voice recorder we have our camera and i did take few photos with camera and it, it is really good for what it is came on it, it was released in 2010 and it was uh, about 60 euro maybe so for a 60 euro device the camera is actually really good you can see yeah let's take a photo now okay so we took a photo and i have taken few other photos too and you can take videos too so if i go here videos so as you can see here the video maybe it can shoot 
Street VGA quality videos. I don't really know because I haven't I haven't tried video here. But yet yes, you can record video too. And we have messaging. We have media. If you go to media section, there are a few things you can check here: photos, music, videos, game section here again, and with feeds and settings. And we have alarm clock, contact calendar, call logs, and organizer. Organizer have a few more things: application, file manager, file transfer, tasks, notes, video call, and synchronization timer, stopwatch, calculator. So this thing are here, and we have setting. So we have settings with. It's really similar to Nokia's one. If you go to general section, there are a few things. Profile, time and date, language, update software, which is not working right now. The server is down. Voice control, I haven't tried that one. Shortcut. So coming to the shortcut, actually, it's annoying that you can't actually remap these two key here, which can be done in Nokia devices. So you just can remap these three devices, even cannot do the up one too. So just three devices you can remap. These two devices you can't. That's, that's kind of sucks i don't know why they didn't do that and i have automatic lock pin code security phone status and master reset those things if you go to sound so ring ringtone volume we have ringtone silent mode increasing volume vibration alert and case is silent so the vibration is really good here so as i said the speaker actually in this device actually is broken already although it, it still sound not really good but it still sound so if we try let's let's try the sound of the ringtone if we go here it just the sound is cracking on this device the speakers are broken already i will fix the speaker later on but right now i don't have parts and if you go to display section we can choose theme and you can download themes from online and you can apply like nokia devices that's too okay the theme you are seeing here is also i have downloaded from other device just put it here and transfer it here actually so standby application my widget as i said you can't remove this key it's for widget so you can you can choose whatever you want and we have main menu style you can choose grid rotating or single icon i like grid and we go to theme there are a few things and some of the themes are actually not com uh, compatible with these devices so we have to check the model number to download the themes and if you go to brightness it can go bright actually so if you go 100 percent it's quite bright but we don't need right now so if you go to calls there are a few things like smart search and other things not really and communication we have bluetooth usb phone name you can change your phone name mobile networks so you can choose what kind of network you want you can if you want 2g only you can do that too and if you want 3g only you can do that too as you can see we are now connected in 3g and we can still use internet here internet setting we have messaging and SIP settings when user help so these are the few things are available in the settings so now let's go with uh, our entertainment so we have game section here and i we have few few games here which I have installed and few games which came with this device like Big Breaker, Bubble Town and Quad Drop Pop and this this and uh, these three games actually came with the device and few other games I have downloaded from webtrick.com and also I have downloaded Opera Mini because it didn't come with Opera Mini so I have downloaded Opera Mini 8 here and it works really well. So if you want to download Opera Mini on this kind of device, Sony Ericsson devices obviously you have to you have to like turn off the certificate from opera mini website rather than that you cannot download or install any kind of opera mini here so after downloading opera mini actually i can browse internet and everything is working just fine here but as i said you can still browse internet but it's not really fun to browse here but it's still it's better actually it's the surprise for 2010 device it's surprisingly well actually it works really fine as you can see it's really fast and fluid and all the pages it can load perfectly fine so if i go with news and other things also it will work just fine easily you're not going to buy these device nowadays for like to use browser but maybe for a secondary device for phone call and other things this device is actually amazing so that's all about the browser if you want to download something you can go to web trick or there are a few other things you can go and if you want to 
minimize the app you can do like you can click this one it will ask you if you want to close or exit the app or you want to minimize you can minimize if you minimize the app you just click on this button and it will show you which one which app is running and also it, it will give you a few more options in nokia devices if you are using symbian devices just show you the application just running in background but in this device you can check new events running apps it will show you my shortcut and also it will show you the browser so quite handy actually and there are a few games here if i open prince of Persia. Uh, one thing i have faced in this device actually if you download games which is more than one mb size it doesn't work actually you can't install that or if you want if you try to uh, directly download from this device also you can't do that i don't know what is the problem with this device and it has actually 300 mb of internal storage for game and apps that's amazing actually if you if you take a nokia phones on this range or this time uh, if it is not really a flagship device from nokia if it's it will come with very less storage but this device has three, 300 mb of storage which is really great for this device and also you can put your sd card whatever you want to store you can store new game so as you can see the games are working just fine and you also you can minimize this game so even if you minimize the game it will the device will be slow because as you can see here it is taking time now it's becoming slow now because uh, the apps are running in background and record and if as, as i said location service but it doesn't work right now google maps if you want to try to use it will open google maps but it will not work anymore as you can see here so decline it's not working and few more things i have done with this device so if we go to organizer section so if you go application application so we have few more things here like echo weather which is not working anymore and few more things grocery list and anything and i have installed jtube here surprisingly jtube can load the uh, main menu here so the page will load but it cannot play the videos i don't know why that's happening so as you can see here we are in jtube and if you open any uh, videos from jtube it cannot you cannot watch the video but in nokia devices you can actually i don't know what's going on it could be because of the browser it's not supporting this thing actually be maybe because of that so it is it will show like this and it, it will not play actually so as you can see here it is not working so if we go back okay even it, it did come with one youtube player here as you can see here youtube it doesn't work anymore it is a youtube officially from the youtube actually and this doesn't work too because the server is already gone and few more things here and if you go here actually file manager i have put actually 32 gig of store um, sd card here and it's working just fine as you can see here on my memory card and it's working fine and if you go one more thing i have to show you there is option for video call but i did try to make video call from this device to my android device maybe it will not work with android device but if i put my sim card on my nokia device symbian devices i can make video call because i could make video call from my symbian devices so maybe it is possible to make video call from this device too and there is a few more things uh, rather than that there is nothing much actually i haven't put any kind of music or anything like that as i said that device is that uh, the speaker is cracking that's why i did not do anything but as you can see here everything can be done with this device as a secondary phone it's really surprisingly well built device and surprisingly capable device actually so that's all about sony xperia sida so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time